This week, Governor-elect Katie Hobbs announced her picks to head up a number of state agencies when she takes office. Among the departments set to see new leadership, the Department of Economic Security, which is in charge of unemployment benefits, welfare, and protecting vulnerable communities. It's an agency that's never been more in demand than during the height of the pandemic. As Team 12's Colleen Sakura reports, issues that have continued over the past two and a half years, affecting thousands of Arizonans, will now be what the new chief inherits. Page after page. Most of these packets, I don't understand what they're saying. They're in DES language. It's continued confusion for Debbie Mulgrew. I feel helpless, hopeless, and very angry and afraid. Confusion that started in March of 2020 when her contract job shut down in the pandemic. She was told by DES she didn't qualify for unemployment benefits, but she says she did end up qualifying for federal pandemic unemployment benefits, a program essentially designed for people like Debbie. That's what I thought. She did get paid some money, but DES again said she didn't qualify, but would qualify for the program she was told she didn't qualify for in the first place. Fast forward two years later, and now Debbie's being told she has to pay thousands back, so she's appealing. I don't have that kind of money to pay back to the state for something that I was told I was eligible for and that they sent me. She's among thousands of Arizonans who DES has said they overpaid unemployment benefits, equating to millions the department either has to recoup or waive in certain situations. I like to believe they did the best they could during this pandemic crisis. Mistakes were made and we have to figure out how to move on from that without dragging it out into more expense, more heartache for people. Plus, the Arizona Auditor General found another 108,000 Arizonans might have been overpaid, but DES hasn't determined that yet. On top of more than $4 billion paid out to what DES says are fraudulent claims, all while the department has cut staff, a spokesperson citing a drop in federal funding. Its issues, incoming DES Director Angie Rogers will inherit. If a new director coming in can step into her position and not lose her compassion, that's the best thing she could do. Rogers has been the head of the Arizona Food Bank Network for a decade. In that role, writing letters and op-eds into the Arizona Republic, including a March 2021 op-ed where Rogers called on DES, an agency she worked in before, to cut red tape, interfering with senior citizens from accessing SNAP benefits. And earlier this month, telling 12 News about the impact of research on free meals for Arizona students will have. They're trying to make sure that their uh, kids can go to school and know that they're going to get fed that day. In a statement saying for the new role at DES, she's focused on improving the outcomes for children, families, and employees. It's the outcome of her upcoming hearing Debbie is focused on now. I want it to be over. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.